to Dragon News Show 14. My name is Sri Harshita Pidij. And I'm Wyatt Handy, your favorite reporter. This is our third to last show. The year has definitely gone by fast. I know, right? I almost can't believe it. But the end of the year also means the start of exams, AP and EOC testing. Be sure to check your student emails for your testing dates, times, and locations so you know what to expect. If you have any questions about your course, be sure to ask your teachers and go to tutorials before it's too late. Your teachers can provide you with great resources to help you on these exams. Finally, remember not to take it too seriously and understand that a test score doesn't measure your worth. Your mental health comes first. Good luck to everyone. Thanks for the reminders, Padij. Uh, taking care of our mental health has been especially important this year, which has been hard on everyone, including teachers. They've worked super hard throughout this challenging year, so be sure to show your appreciation during Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, well, Teacher Appreciation Week is the first week of May. A simple email expressing your gratitude doesn't take long and would really make your teacher's day. Have a teacher that is especially outstanding. You can vote for specific categories during the teacher Oscars. Uh, the ballot will be sent out to students later this month, so be sure to monitor your email. I will be sure to thank my teachers for everything, Wyatt. Changing gears, though, Earth Day was last Friday, April 22nd. Throughout the last few decades, climate change has really taken a toll on our environment. However, we can still make a change. All it takes is the choice to be more environmentally conscious. Some suggestions are taking the bus to school for a few days, picking up trash on the ground, bringing reusable bags to the grocery store, recycling and composting. If these things interest you or you want to learn more, consider reaching out to Ms. Killian, the sponsor of the Youth Environmental Society. Leading up to Earth Day, Dragons have been working hard on making our campus more natureful. Uh, for the past few weeks, students have been working on revitalizing the 100 buildings gardens and cleaning up our campus. Shout out to the Native Plant Society and Rock Plant Club for making this possible, and be sure to check out the 100 buildings gardens and see our students' hard work. That's super cool. I can't wait to see these plants grow around campus. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Signing off, I'm Wide Handy, your favorite reporter. And I'm Sri Harshita Padij. Good luck to everyone and have a great day.